On December the 3rd, Cardinal Victor Manuel Fernandez took possession of his titular church to the north of Rome, the church of Santi Urbano e Lorenzo. Cardinal Fernandez is, of course, the Emeritus Archbishop of La Plata, who began his new role at the Vatican as Prefect of the Congregation, now Dicastery, for the Doctrine of the Faith in mid-September, and who has created Cardinal by Pope Francis in the public consistory of September 30th. The Cardinal's controversial background includes his 1995 book, Heal Me With Your Mouth, The Art of Kissing, an unmistakably explicitly erotic work, both in its text and images, and which is often suggestive of ambiguous sexual relationships in which the genders of the, of the participants are unspecified. Fernandez hit back at critics of his book in September, saying that, I have several other texts from years ago that could be considered much more dangerous from the theological point of view, and yet they have not even seen them. Since coming to the CDF, Fernandez has issued a number of documents alongside Pope Francis, which include opening the door for transgender baptisms, blessing of homosexuals, and stating that Amoris Laetitia allows for the divorced and remarried to receive Holy Communion. Speaking exclusively to LifeSite News some weeks ago, Cardinal Fernandez expanded on his views regarding same-sex blessings, a topic which has been of particular interest in the number of interviews and interventions that he gave since it was announced in July that he would come to the Vatican to lead the CDF. Cardinal Fernandez stated that a blessing is a sign of pastoral work to every person in every situation. He went on to add that one does not need to know details about the Christianity or the morality of the person's life in order to give such a blessing. In the short course of his tenure as prefect of the CDF, a number of Catholic commentators, theologians, and indeed high-ranking prelates have noted that a new wave of confusion and error has swept through the church, largely thanks to Cardinal Fernandez's actions and statements. And whilst the name of Cardinal Fernandez was largely unknown to many prior to the July announcement that he would come here to lead the CDF, he has swiftly emerged as one of the most notable and key figures of the current pontificate, despite having been in situ in his new world for a little over two months. From Rome, for LifeSite News, I'm Michael Haynes.